I was born in, an, in China, and then um, I was brought to a foundling hospital, and my mom came and she picked me up and brought me here. I asked them if, um, well, not really about our difference, but did, I, did they know my mother in China? And they said no. Il me semble que mes parents ne me l'avaient pas dit comme ça, genre, euh, tu t'es adopté, là, mais, tu sais, je le savais, là, tu t'apparaissais, tu sais, quand même, il y a une différence entre mes parents et moi, là, c'est sûr, mais là, tu sais, je le savais de même, je pense. This was the hat that my, I was wearing when um, a lady found me. And these are pants, Chinese pants. And, um, and these are the shoes that I I, I used to wear when I was a baby. Um, this is um, a note from my mother in China that she left with me. Okay. It says the, the hour and the date and the month that I was born. You want to get the bigger size? Yeah, I love that. It's kind of fluffy, honey. But I, I like it fluffy. No, I don't think it is. Annie's got this marker on her back, this little triangular shape. And in my words, it looks like a branding. And Phil's, it looks like a surgical cut, purposeful. And I guess my fantasy is that her mother um, couldn't keep her, but attempted to for the first few weeks and um, found uh, she couldn't. <laughs> Come here, the, mirror, the mirror's over here. <laughs> what do you think? No, look at the mirror. You like it, Annie? <laughs> I like it. <laughs> There's got to be some kind of underground of women. There's thousands of women who have had to give up their children. I mean, and I, and I talk to people about this, that we have no concept of this being imposed on us. Uh, this one-child policy, this draconian policy, and people get pregnant and they, they, they bury these children and they're in love with them as we are, and then to have to give them up. So, so maybe, maybe that'll, if one day she wants to search, maybe there's a mother searching there for a child with this mark on it. Elle nous est arrivée un soir ici, puis elle nous a dit, est-ce que c'est vrai, maman, que les petites filles en Chine, on les tue, quelque chose comme ça. Il y avait eu un reportage à la télé, puis ça, ça avait fait des, des histoires un peu... Ça avait défrayé les manchettes. Je le savais parce que tout le monde en parlait, mais comme surtout les, les filles, là, ils mettaient souvent les filles en adoption là, dans les orphelinats, là, parce que les garçons ils étaient plus importants, là, puis euh, faisaient plus de choses, là, comme ils étaient plus utiles. Là. Ça avait créé assez une grande angoisse pour qu'on décide d'aller parler euh, des jeunes filles chinoises euh, en classe au niveau de ça. Et on avait fait tous les enfants de l'école. Et à partir de ce moment-là, tout était réglé. Tout, et, et... Démystifié. Démystifié. Ouais, ouais, ouais. Exactement. On avait démystifié un peu ça. She's gonna know that she's a tough, but you know, why not? We have cousins. Peter has cousins who have adopted. I have cousins who have been adopted. It's, it's kind of a non-issue. And hmm. Hmm. There's no point in, in, in delaying it or not making it part of what, you know, the whole family experience is and making her conscious of it. No, 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 we don't do that, honey. We'll squash the bread. <laughs> squish the bread. I'll squish the bread. 
we went to Cornerbrook where my parents lived and uh, my sister and her two daughters were coming over at the same time. And they had seen pictures of Sue but hadn't met her at that point. And we went up to the airport to pick Sue up, my brother and I, or to pick my sisters and her kids up, my brother and I, and uh, my little niece looked at me as we were driving down the road coming back from the airport and she looked at me and said, Susan is Chinese. Does that mean that you and you and Aunt Kathy are Chinese too? <laughs>